Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bosch. The number of clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Bosch Clean Diesel. Good. Clean. Fun. Bridgestone. Your journey. Our passion. Dow Automotive Systems. Improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by the 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Learn more at HyundaiSonata.com. Hello and welcome to a brand new week of AutoLine Daily. Later on in the show, we'll share the results of our latest poll. But first, let's get to the news. China is now the largest market for Jaguar and Land Rover. So its parent company, Tata, is willing to spend $1.7 billion to build a plant in China. Remember, if cars are imported to China, they get hit with 25% tariffs. So this will help JLR cut its prices significantly. Of course, foreign automakers are only allowed to build plants if they're partnered with another Chinese company. So JLR is going in 50-50 with Cherry. The new facility will include an assembly plant, an engine plant, and an R&D facility. Both companies will also collaborate on developing a new brand. And here's some of my Autoline insight. China keeps insisting on foreign companies developing new brands in China because it wants to develop its own chief engineers. While China probably has more engineers than any other country, they still do not have the capability of developing a world-class car from scratch. They either have to copy or modify existing designs. China figures that by forcing foreign automakers to work with Chinese engineers in developing new brands, it will finally reach the day when it doesn't need the foreigners at all. Like most European automakers, Spanish car maker Seat is struggling, but it's even having trouble selling cars in China. So its parent company, VW, is pitching in. Seat will start selling its compact car, the Leon, at Volkswagen dealerships in China, in addition to its own dealers there. According to Gasgu, the Leon debuted in China in March with a price tag between $38,000 and $47,000 but sales were so bad the company lowered the price by over $13,000 last month. And even that's not enough. And hey, speaking of China, we've been following how sales for Japanese automakers in the country have tumbled due to protests over those disputed islands. But one Japanese automaker is actually benefiting from this disagreement. Subaru stock jumped 83% this year, mainly because the company does not have a plant in China. Subaru boosted this year's profit forecast by 40%, while Honda and Nissan have cut theirs. But while this is a good short-term gain, analysts say Subaru still will need to boost its presence in China in the long term. The 2013 Honda CRZ will go on sale in two days, and it gets a few new upgrades, including a higher voltage lithium-ion battery pack that increases horsepower and torque while improving fuel economy by one mile per gallon, It comes standard with a six-speed manual transmission, the only hybrid in the U.S. to do so, and a CVT is also available. Styling upgrades include revised interior trim along with a new front fascia, a new finish for the 16-inch alloy wheels, and aerodynamically functional new rear diffuser and two new exterior colors. MSRP for the CRZ starts just shy of $20,000. Well, 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 up to now, the AutoLine Daily polls have been narrowly decided. Not on today's. We pointed out that Ferdinand Pieck is probably going to be the chairman of the board at Volkswagen until he's at least 82 years old. So we asked you, how old is too old to run a car company? 11% of you said anyone over 65 is too old. 10% of you said anyone over 70 is too old. And another 11% said anyone over 75. But 68% of you said no one is ever too old to run a car company. I want to thank everyone who voted and now you can get back to your rocking chairs and games of checkers. I'm Sean McElroy in the mountains of New Mexico. Volkswagen says it's going to give Toyota a run for its money. That report coming up next. 
Clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Why? Higher take rates, lower cost of ownership, longer range and better fuel mileage, lower CO2 emissions. Clean diesel, good, economical, functional. Bosch, invented for life. The sixth generation Jetta offers a variety of powertrains. Now it adds a hybrid to the mix. This is the 2013 Jetta Hybrid. It has a 1.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that can get up to 44 miles per gallon. It runs in E-mode, which is full electric power up to 44 miles per hour, thanks to some new VW technology. I think we have a, a so-called decoupler, so we can really uh, decouple the um, gas engine from the electrical drivetrain and uh, by that uh, have highest efficiency. The car uh, goes electric to a maximum speed of 44 uh, miles per hour, which is very high and um, very amazingly, you know, 0 to 60 is in 8.6 seconds. And that's another proof um, uh, that it's a lot of fun to drive, to, try, uh, to have that car and driving the car, uh, I think much different than uh, what is currently in the market with other hybrids. The Prius has been around for over a decade now and has dominated the hybrid segment. Now Volkswagen looks to expand that segment with a buyer that's looking for something different than the usual hybrid. You know, when you look at uh, the regular customer base of hybrids, you see that they are medium age 61. Uh, empty nesters um, uh, and so on. And I think, you know, what uh, we will, I, I'm very uh, convinced, see that with the Jetta Hybrid, we will go to, uh, to younger customers. Uh, by that automatically also maybe to uh, more families with kids because uh, as I said you know no uh, compromise on day-to-day -day use and on the other hand a lot of fun to drive and that is um, what we also see with diesel uh, with the Jetta uh, TDI uh, where you also have a significantly uh, younger audience uh, compared to the uh, hybrid segment as it currently is. Now Volkswagen knows that hybrids only account for about three percent of the overall market but some experts expect that number to double within the next few years. With the compact segment controlling about 66% of those sales, that's where Volkswagen thinks it can make their mark with the Jetta Hybrid. Coming at you from the deserts of New Mexico, I'm Sean McElroy with Autoline Daily. It's gonna be fascinating to see how the hybrid version of the Jetta sells against the turbo diesel. Could tell us a lot about how hybrids and diesels compete directly against each other. And that wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.